He is known for serving under Julius Caesar during the Civil War and being entrusted with important missions. He took part in the Alexandrian and Spanish Wars, showcasing his skills and contributions as a statesman. His name is Lucius Cornelius Balbus. In the annals of ancient history, one name stands out, Lucius Cornelius Balbus, a legendary figure who played a crucial role in the political landscape of ancient Rome. Born in Gades, a town in modern-day Spain, Balbus rose to prominence during the civil war under the leadership of Julius Caesar. His remarkable skills and loyalty earned him important missions from Caesar himself, and he even participated in significant conflicts such as the Alexandrian and Spanish Wars. Balbus's dedication and achievements did not go unnoticed. He was rewarded for his services by being admitted into the prestigious College of Pontiffs, a group of high-ranking Roman priests. In 43 BC, he served as a quester to Asinius Pollio in further Spain, where he amassed a considerable fortune through plundering the local inhabitants. Not only did he accumulate wealth, but he also contributed to his hometown by adding a suburb to Gades, showcasing his commitment to his roots. After his exploits in Spain, Balbus's whereabouts became unknown until 21 BC when he re-emerged as the proconsul of Africa. Some historians speculate that his appointment in Africa was due to his exceptional fitness for the post and possibly to redeem himself in the eyes of Augustus, as he may have incurred the emperor's displeasure with his actions as a praetor. Balbus's military prowess continued to impress, as in 19 BC, he achieved a significant victory over the Garamantes, a North African tribe. This triumph was a historic moment, as it marked the first time a non-Roman citizen by birth received the honor of a triumph. It was also the last time a private individual would receive such recognition until the triumph of Belisarius in 534 AD. Beyond his military and political accomplishments, Balbus displayed an interest in literature. He wrote a play that depicted his visit to Lentulus in the camp of Pompey at Dyrrhachium, a pivotal moment in Roman history. Additionally, he authored a work called Zaeta Gamma Eta Tau Iota Kappa, which explored the gods and their worship, showcasing his intellectual pursuits. Lucius Cornelius Balbus's biography is a testament to his remarkable journey from serving under Julius Caesar to becoming a respected proconsul in Africa. His military achievements, political influence, and cultural contributions have left an indelible mark on ancient Rome. Balbus's story serves as a reminder of the profound impact that individuals can have on the course of history, shaping the world in ways that resonate for centuries to come. In the ancient world, there were few explorers as daring and ambitious as Lucius Cornelius Balbus. A Roman statesman and military leader, Balbus embarked on a groundbreaking expedition to Sub-Saharan Africa in 19 BC. Leading a formidable force of 10,000 legionaries, he set out from the Libyan city of Sabratha, eager to conquer new lands and expand the empire's reach. Balbus's first conquest was the Garamantian capital in Fezzan, a city that stood as a gateway to the unexplored territories beyond. With his legionaries at his side, he overcame any obstacles that lay in his path, demonstrating his military prowess and strategic brilliance. Driven by a thirst for knowledge and adventure, Balbus sent a small group of his loyal legionaries further south, across the treacherous Ahagar Mountains. Their mission was to explore the mysterious Land of the Lions, an untamed region teeming with both danger and opportunity. To their astonishment, the group stumbled upon a colossal river, its waters flowing towards the mighty Nile. This discovery was a testament to the Roman explorer's perseverance and resourcefulness. It not only confirmed the existence of a vast and uncharted land but also hinted at the potential trade routes and riches that lay beyond. The significance of Balbus's expedition was further substantiated in later years. In 1955, Roman coins and Latin ceramics were found in the region that is now modern-day Mali. These artifacts provided tangible evidence of the Romans' presence and their remarkable journey southward. Balbus's expedition marked a turning point in Roman history, revealing the extent of their empire's reach and opening up new possibilities for trade and cultural exchange. His audacious spirit and unwavering determination continue to inspire explorers and historians alike, reminding us of the indomitable human spirit and our insatiable curiosity for the unknown. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.